to my channel. So today we are doing a testing, review, demo, and wear test on the new Maybelline Cheek Heat Blushes. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on the new Maybelline Cheek Heat, then just keep on watching. I am pulling all of my information right from the Maybelline.ca website because I feel like that's the most accurate. Maybelline created this new blush formula in six different shades and I picked up two of the shades. First shade is 20 Rose Flush, which I did pick up. Then we have 10 Pink Scorch, 15 Nude Burn, which I also picked up, 25 Fuchsia Spark, 30 Coral Ember, and 35 Berry Flame. I don't love corally, super coral blushes on me, and I thought the Fuchsia one would be too dark. The other one that I debated picking up and would interest me if I do really like the formula is the number 10 Pink Scorch. That shade looks really, really pretty, so I will link all of these shades down below. The price listed on the Maybelline site is $10.99 Canadian, but I know for a fact that I paid $14.99 for each of these at Shoppers Drug Mart, so I will link down below a couple different places where you can shop. I'll link like the Shoppers link and Ulta. I know they're available in both of those locations, so I will link that and anything else. You guys can compare prices. The Cheek Heat is a water-based gel cream infused with colorful pigments that create a buildable natural blush, so it says right away some of the claims buildable and natural. Create a sheer flush of color instantly with this oil-free water-based formula, so it's a water-based gel formula that glides onto the skin, leaving behind a soft, natural, dewy finish. It's infused with soft, colorful pigments for a buildable blush that can tone up or down a natural, flushed look. Apply with fingers, squeeze one to two dots onto fingers, tap onto the apples of your cheeks, then blend smoothly into skin. No insane claims, no claims about longevity, wearability, really just says that it's a buildable natural finish. I am going to be doing a little bit of a wear test for you guys. Blush is something that doesn't wear as well as other products. Typically blush is um, most often the product that fades the quickest on the face, so if these do fade incredibly quickly, that might be something to consider into the price and whether you want to purchase it or not. That there is how the product looks first dispensed and then when you rub it out into the skin that is what the shade nude burn looks like super super pretty nude pink shade so I took about that much to start and I'm going to rub that in between my fingertips warm up the product then apply this to the apple of my left cheek uh, definitely gonna need some more product I feel like that didn't do anything. So I applied a second layer, I guess you could say, and I still don't really see it showing up onto my cheeks. Perhaps the color is just too light. Dotting that on the apple of my cheeks and going back in with my stipple brush and blending that. I'm just trying to blend it more with a beauty blender. The color is really, really pretty though. I do really enjoy that color. It goes really nicely with my lip color today. It is very nice and natural and luminous. I don't know how buildable this shade is. I feel like it is a very light color so it's hard to build it up but I will leave that for now. Let it settle into that side of my face and then maybe we can revisit more afterwards and add more pigment to that. But now I'm going to go in with 20 rose flush on this side of my face. That there is how 20 rose flush looks on the back of my hand and then that there is how it looks a little bit more blended. Blending that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I don't want to use the same brush that I used for the other shade so we're going to try a different application on this side. Again, the color payoff is very slight, so I'm going to go ahead and apply more onto that side area of my face, really focus it on the apples, and just apply it right to the cheeks. Both shades on my face are looking very, very similar. So far, I'm not super impressed. I would reach for my Nude Sticks blush over this. I'd reach for my Incredible Cream blushes over this. 
so I turned down the brightness on my lights and my camera so that hopefully you guys can see the blushes more true to color. Even with this, you can tell that there isn't a ton of pigment. Right here, there's a little bit of patchiness. I did apply a tiny bit of powder, but it was the tiniest bit, and I pretty much always powder when I use cream blushes. I just do it sparingly and like strategically, and it's not an issue. But with these, it seems that it might be best to have no powder at all, especially the under eye area. I think that's where it's patching the most. Claimed to be very buildable. That was like the main claim. And I'm not finding these very buildable. I don't find the shades to be different from one another, especially not worth spending $14.99 for the same shade on your face. Um, if I were you, I would go with 15 Nude Burn. I just think this side is slightly prettier. And this one's a little bit closer to the actual color that you get. That's how I'm feeling right now. Pretty negative, pretty not into this, but I will see how they wear and maybe they'll like sink into the skin more and look prettier. I will update you guys in a little while, a few hours from now and see where we're at. It's been a few hours and I just want to make dinner and take off my makeup and get editing. I haven't seen a change in the pigment of the blush. I would not say that it fades quickly at all. My highlight has definitely faded. You can't really see much of it. My bronzer's faded, but I would say that the blush looks the exact same for the most part, so I am able to give it some extra points for wearability, but everything that I had said before about the blush still rings true for me. So overall, I'd probably give these like a six out of 10. The fact that they look very similar on the face, the fact that they are advertised to build up really well, and I don't find that they really do that. It is a pretty wash of color and it does wear really nicely, but it is also fairly expensive in my opinion for the drugstore. I will definitely continue trying them, playing around with them, and yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. Those are my final thoughts on the Maybelline Cheek Heat blushes, cream gel blushes. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'll be picking these up, if you already have, if you'll be passing on them. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to. It really helps me out a lot. And as always, I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.